we made it to Texas. And, uh... We're joined by some friends. Yeah, there's so many deer here, it's crazy. So we made it from Seattle to Texas. This is our new spot. So I wanted to show you guys and give you an update. Now's a good time to have an update because we got some furniture in the house and you know we got all those little things sorted out. So this is gonna be a video showing you guys the house. Um, yeah, let's go through the front door. We'll start in the front and we'll work our way around. Here we go. So as you guys might know or don't know, uh, I'm a furniture maker and seller. It's been my small business for about a year and a half now. So some of the stuff you'll see here is stuff that I've made and then some of it I didn't make because making couches is hard. We made one couch. It's over there. You'll see it when we go outside. A little information about the house. It's 2,500 square feet with a thousand foot square, a thousand square foot garage. Um, we got this house kind of for that reason, because I need a big enough garage space to turn it into a full blown shop. Let's head into the bedroom. So like I said, not everything's put together, but it's getting there. It's pretty close. Here is the bed frame I made. Isn't this a beautiful bedroom? So imagine you're sleeping and you get up in the morning and this is what you get to see. You get to look out that window and see nature, that window and see nature, that window and see nature. It's beautiful. Um, there's deer all over the place here. So you can usually see them when you get up. They'll be right in the front yard. Uh, eating whatever they eat and then this window you can actually see the lake so That lake is actually It's actually the Colorado River, but it there's like some reservoirs from what I understand and it turns into what's called Lake Travis, so it's a river, but the lake. I don't know. Here's a look at the nightstands I made these are actually gonna be a product that I'm gonna offer um for sale. They're gonna be on my Etsy store and maybe available locally. Um, but we wanted a really clean, simple design. And lightweight, and they're really easy to uh, install. Um, just to give you guys a quick look, I'll take some of this stuff out to show you guys. <clears throat> so that is what you install first. And then the shelf has a built-in French cleat that just slides over the top of this and it kind of wedges itself in there. So all you have to do is carefully put it here and bam. Anyways, enough about those. Uh, we have a master bathroom in here. Two sinks. Toilet in there, walk-in closets. How nice is that? Let's go to the living room. This is actually two couches that we bought separately from Ikea. I think they're like 600 bucks each, put two of them together, and it fills this big space pretty nicely. That's one of the coffee tables I made. Uh, we don't really love it for the space, it's too much, uh, Kind of a uh, too much modern industrial for our space. But the main thing we love about this house is the view. So yeah, from our living room, go out this window, you can see the lake. So our backyard is actually a golf course. So that's why you see a big grassy green field. And there is a huge deer population here. So you'll see them cruising around and eating all the time. Let's go over here. So this is the, I guess, sort of the formal dining room. Even though we got new chairs, we're gonna do some work to them before we get them all set up. So we're actually gonna paint those chairs gold 
And then um, these are the covers for them. And then we also have some linen covers that are gonna go over the top of those. Um, so in a future update, you'll see those all together and it should look really nice. I wanna take you guys to the kitchen and a uh, little extra dining area. So here is the kitchen. Look at how nice that is. Here's another little dining table I made. It's got a solid wood top, whitewash, um, using Valspar's cabinet enamel. And then it has a water-based polyurethane clear coat on top too. See, I'm telling you, there's deer everywhere. Look it, there's a buck in the background. Over here we have a laundry room. And then the garage is through that door too. So this is where the magic happens. So this is my workspace where I do my dirty work. So this is where I'm cutting boards, doing my sanding, and um, doing all the dirty stuff. So when we moved in, I needed to start production quick. So that's why you see plastic around here. But actually it does a super good job of keeping the heat either in or out of the space. It works super well. Um, also, it's used for soundproofing. So this is an HOA neighborhood. So I try to keep the noise level to a... Uh, uh, so I try to keep the noise level to a minimum. Uh, I try to keep it as quiet as I can for the neighbors. So this is the clean side. This is where I do my finishing. Wow, look at the deer. Let's walk around the property. I'll show you guys around. So this is the side of the house. This is where I keep the trailer. It has its own little spot. Uh, it's in here, so This trailer is what took the Ford Falcon with us from Seattle here to Texas. Now we're going to the back side of the house. And this is the golf course. All right, let's go over here. Actually, let's go on top of that hill so I can show you guys the house and kind of more of the landscape. Okay, let's go down here. And over here, there's a nice little area for maybe like a fire pit. Get a barbecue, put that over here. Something like that. Let me show you guys the deck. Okay, so this is the couch that we built in Seattle and took with us. You guys probably saw this in lots of pictures if you watch my Instagram. Yeah, look at this view off the deck. It's hard to beat that. Okay, well that's it for a first update. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll update you guys again, maybe in about a week. Um, I'm gonna do some things around the house, and uh, for example, the legs on sofa are a light colored stain and we want all the wood tones to not so much match but blend together um, that'll look much better I feel like these legs kind of make the couch look cheap a little bit and it'll look much better if they're all the same color so there'll be some different things uh, I'll be doing to the house and 
and I will be updating you guys maybe weekly. I'll be putting out a video. Hello, tell me if there's anything else you wanna see. Next time, I think I'm gonna maybe show you guys the car, go for a drive down to the lake. There are two parks that are within like two minutes of here that I've been going fishing at and uh, they're super cool. So uh, maybe we'll go for a drive next time and I'll show that to you guys. Until next time, see you later.